just put out an update. So let's have a look at the update here. I uh, just installed it. It is update 3.1.2. As you can see right there. Can you see that? There you go. 3.1.2. So now we're going to test Thermal Runaway. Let's see if they got them all fixed. So we're going to go Control. And Preheat PLA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up shorting out uh, the printer. So it just rebooted and it's screaming. So it fixed that. That's good. Okay. Thermal test number two. We're going to run. That was the, um, was that the hot end? I think that was the hot end. Sorry. I'm not really paying too much attention here. I'm going to do the three tests that Thomas and Landerer told me to do or showed us to do. Preheat PLA again. We'll do the, the bed this time. And it's going to turn off or at least lock up. I'm going to assume that it's not heating anymore. And now for the third test, we're going to do um, to remove the hot end, part of the hot end here, or one of the wires. There we go. Right there. Let's start this up again. Uh, control. Uh, Preheat PLA. So this should take a minute or so for it to check on everything. So it's going to run a cycle. It's probably going to go like 10 or 30 seconds before it um, shuts off because it's going to check to make sure it's, um, it's supposed to be heating. And as you can see, the, the temperature is going down. Right, let's see if I can zoom in on that. All right. So it should, um, it should trigger. Yeah, so we, they fixed it. Perfect. Awesome. Right on. Let's just turn that off because that's kind of annoying. So this is the BL Touch um, firmware for this. I did not check the regular because I have the BL Touch. But as you can see, it's working. It seems to have all the runaways in check. So that's awesome. All right. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, uh, the, uh, the safe firmware from VoxLab, the new one, 3.1.2, that was just released last week, seems to be doing the job it's supposed to be doing. So at least good job, VoxLab, for getting it out right away. All right. So... Yeah, maybe I'll um, leave this on here for a bit and play around with the BL Touch and see if they've got that fixed or not too now. So, um, yeah, um, it's the, um, let's see, 3.1.2 for the, uh, the BL Touch. The other one is the, um, I haven't tested, is the 1.2.4. And these are both for the uh, G32 chips. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys.